Hey gang, welcome to Wingspan. We've got ourselves some good cards in the tray. Well, we got a card passer outer here. We want bowl birds. So either one of those two cards would be great. Uh, I think that we might want to do, well, all these nest types that the uh, bush tip would be good for. What are our bonus cards? Historian is looking promising. We already got one of those. No, we don't grab the cowbird. We got nothing by way of food generation. You can always play the robin in the forest. Should we grab this guy? <clears throat> we have a nests. Uh, it might be early for the cowbird. We have no idea what our opponent's up to. Uh, let's see here. Well, we want everything but a f fish, I'm going to say. And we will take Orion. Let's see what my opponent is up to. <clears throat> Not gonna take either of those two cards. This is a welcoming start. These lower ranked players, you can kind of get away with stuff. You got the food for both those cards, but will they both last? Opponent has two cards in hand. I got nothing for the wetland. We're going to play our snipe. We're going to lay some eggs. We'll grab two cards, push it in the robin, plus whatever is coming off of the snipe. Hopefully it will be a good tucking bird. Bird to be tucked, that is. Let's find out what's coming our way. Got a lot of crows in my apartment complex. We live right on the edge of some grassland, so there's lots of really interesting birds to stop by. Crows are quite common, of course, but uh, I've been putting peanuts in my old bird bath because I just haven't been that excited about managing a bird bath. And. Uh, Crows never could quite figure it out, but they finally did. So they've been snagging peanuts out of my hanging bird bath. It's fun to watch because they have tried to get stuff off of my bird things for quite a while and never had that much success. I think the bush is going to go in the wetlands. Good for start of game, not so good for end game. All right, so we are going, they got the second bird going down in the forest. I wonder if we don't play that robin in the forest. I think we risk it and play it in the grasslands and hope that we can get something, well, might be getting ahead of ourselves if we do that. <clears throat> Let's see what the snipe has to offer us. That's definitely going to be tucked. Too early for you, Mr. King Rail. We could. I think we're going to grab food, play the bush tit in the wetlands, and just do some digging. Get that to grub. Of course, we could play the robin first and then grab it. Short-term versus long-term benefits. Yeah, let's do that. Opponent has no food, though, so we're going to do that instead.
I guess we could play. Well, no, we don't have the don't have the fish for the king rail. I am wondering what we want to do here. Of course, ideally, you want the robin and the bush tit in the grasslands for long-term benefit, but. Short term, well, okay, we're gonna play this guy. Well, no, don't, should we put him in the forest? We're gonna put him in the forest. We're gonna next try a little forest robin action. And then we're gonna grab that turn, maybe. Maybe not. Opponent has a bunch of bull nest egg space. I think our bush tick goes down in the, well, let's see here. Opponent has two turns left. Could play the bush tit. We're gonna go in the wetlands. We're not gonna stress the end of round goal too much. As long as we got one, in, even if we don't have one egg, but we will have one egg in there. It's, uh, it's better to start digging. I think we're going to grab that kinglet. Although we are, oh, the forester's turn matches our bonus card. So we'll grab that guy. We're going to skip the kinglet, I think. Don't really need a double play bird in the forest. So let's grab one off the top. So Ace VB does match our bonus card, and we do have lots of bullness already. This guy will also be a bullness, so we might go for that Sage VB at the end of the game. Let me get rid of the king rail, get that egg. Everybody draw a card. Morning Duff is good. We will grab our uh, grub, unless my opponent completely neglects their bull nests. They're going to get two. So we can, oh, it's, it's, it's uh, his number of birds. So we can tie this up, right? Yep. We will just do that. <laughs> then we get to go first, the start of next turn, so that is great. We have many platform nests. We're going to re-roll here. And if there's a grain, we're getting no grain, so we'll have to grab the fish and play the forester's turn. Now do we tuck? Uh, let's see here. No, we're gonna, you know, my motto always be tucking. We're gonna do it I like them points. There will be other good cards, I promise you. And we'll play that forester turn in our wetlands and do another round of card draw, see what we can grab our food, and then hopefully we'll have enough to grab those two. Uh, fruit. We can maybe play the the uh, hermit thrush. Get that f food supply going even better. Give a food to my opponent and one to myself. Down goes the wood stork.
So we're going to have a lot of good card draw here. Hopefully we see something we like. Time to start thinking about the grasslands a little bit more seriously. Looks like had we gone bull birds, we would have done just fine, of course, but we're doing very well with our historian. We don't like anything from there, so we're gonna draw everything off the deck. Nothing there that we are at all interested in. That's bit, oh, another, that's a great card for us. Let's see here, although the food does not line up. Northern Flicker, not so sure about that. That's gonna get tucked, I am sure. We're going to get rid of our full eye catcher. Everyone gets a card. Okay. We're gonna get rid of, the, well, it is a cheap bird that could go in the forest. Well, that's also named after a person. Might be time to give up on the thrush. Too expensive for this point in the game. Too expensive for us. So we'll grab a couple cherries, maybe just one cherry. Well, two would be good, but we have to discard. We got nothing. Well, the, we can get rid of the long spur. So long spur is also not doing us much good right now. But then we also need one to cycle. So we're not going to get rid of one. We're just going to grab the cherry, cycle the long spur. Oh, that's nice. So, let's see here. So we can grab the two cherries. Don't know if we need, it'll be good for the tray reset. We'll get rid of the this guy. And then we can take the Swanson's Hawk and we will just have an obscene amount of uh, cards named after a person. We're gonna play the flicker and hope for a great reroll. My opponent does not have food, so they might beat us to it. Let's say as long as there's one, I'm gonna take it. I just need to get my grasslands going. There's two, I bet my opponent takes one. What's it gonna be? You don't want any of those grubs. If we somehow manage to get everything down, it's gonna be a 12 point bonus card. What'd they take? They took a grub. That's all right. I accept this fate. All right, I'm gonna lay down that Swanson's Hawk and then lay some eggs. Could give up that other cherry. We'll see how my opponent, my opponent has two slots. We will have, yeah, we'll, nope, we'll have three played, so. So we'll be good with that. Unless I get another card down, of course. don't particularly like anything in the bird. Well, that just changed. There's still not too much there we like. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, all right, down goes the hawk. What have you got, my friend? All their eggs are in bowls. I'm wondering if we don't give them this end of round goal too, though, and get some food. Keep this train a humming. So then we can win it. That is a good three points, so let's just do it. Uh, do they still only have two spaces available? Yes, they do. That cherry is not serving us particularly well currently, but that's all right. It will have its day. A tease of a kill deer there, but it is a little, a little late for that guy. We're gonna want to restock on cards before we get more food. I might do that a little bit too much. I might act. I might kind of cycle through things a little too much. But efficiency is great. We've got lots of tucking birds. One by lots, I mean two. So we want to keep them happy. Getting on the bird with the end around goal. That sandhill crane does not scare me too much. Clark's grebe. I don't think we're gonna go for it. <laughs> we're not going for it. Opponent might be getting some food since he still has the card in his hand. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we only we have three cavity nest birds. These star nests are fantastic. I think we grab the Clark's grebe just for the fun of it. We could make this a game where we go. Well, we've got we've got two good grassland birds here. So maybe we grab them. Food for the sparrow would be nice, which is not presenting itself currently. It's only halfway there. So let's see here. We'll nab them all from the deck. Uh, that's kind of nice. I'll grab this guy. Carolina Wren. My opponent has no predator birds. We're going to take this guy just in case. Uh, Woodpecker can definitely go. Everyone gets a card. Spotted Toey. That is good. We're going to get rid of our Carolina Wren. I think. Is the Toey good? Do we need to do the toe in? We got the sparrow and the golden eye that eat grain. So it's hard to say. But we'll grab the fish and the grain, and then we will play the toe, I think. Maybe we do a reroll first and see what else we can grab. The black vulture can be cycled. American crow. It's a little late to be building a an engine in the grassland. Maybe not a food engine. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It should make the golden eye and the sparrow and maybe even the Sage Phoebe attainable. So maybe. I don't know. It feels a little bit like a distraction. But with only two food a turn, 
I think we're going to play them. We're going to do it. Might slow us down too much. Hard to say. But probably not. Probably a good play. Sparrow. So that'll give us room for the Sparrow and the Phoebe in our grasslands. Ha <laughs> ha there's another cupboard. That just makes you want to go for food. Do we put down the crow and the towie? So tempting. But I think we're just going to try to max out. Uh, win or lose, we're just going to try to max out our bonus card. We like these two guys. That's the plan. American Crow, you got to go. Hey, look at that. It's another one. This is the most cards named after a person I've ever seen in my life. So life is good. We got all kinds of choices to make now. Opponent remains without much of a uh, much of a grasslands. They're going to play the Golden Eye next if we can. Play the Clark, get the food. Although the Sparrow might be important for egg production. Currently only have a six card bonus, six point bonus card, but we're working on it. This is getting a little exciting. Get rid of that cherry. What good are you, cherry? I think the Grebe can go. Although the Grebe is the same amount of points as the Golden Eye, and it's way cheaper uh, food cost wise. So we'll see. So I think the Golden Eye's got to go. Maybe. Some more Oriole going down. Uh, let's grab these two. There's no way we're going to get all these down. So, is the Phoebe worth it? I don't think the Phoebe's worth it. Toey's not going down. How many cavity nests does my opponent have? Two. So, we're going to tie that into round goal. Uh, let's see here. So we are going to get rid of this guy. Too much food cost. And what do we want? want? Another grub. Now we have, nope, good. we want another grain. We'll cycle through our uh, towie. Perfect. So we're going to get the pipe it and the sparrow down. First, I guess we got to lay some eggs. We can actually win the end of round goal. Forgot we had those two star nests. So I don't know. We might be getting two or three of these car more cards down, but. It's hard to say at this point. Opponent remains without an engine as well, so we're having fun there. Maybe we skip the sparrow. We're not going to be doing much egg laying at the end of the, the game. Total birds, we're tied up on that one. I have a lot more food than they do. Let's get down our pipe it. We're going to get be able to get down everything, I think. 
let's see here, grub birds, which we have one of, or body parts. Since we have so many birds named after people, I don't think we're gonna go with body parts. So, oh, we got the Phoebe too, that hopefully we'll be able to get down. We'll get the food for that right now. So we'll get the food, that's gonna be sparrow, grebe, and uh, Phoebe. We're gonna need two grubs, two more grubs, and we are sitting pretty. It's gonna be a fun little game. Blowing out the bonus card. Do we have the eggs? We only have, mm, we might not have the eggs. Nope. Oh, well, we'll play the, the Phoebe. And that'll give us the eggs we need. So it's going to be yeah. Sparrow, BB, yeah. Come on, let me have those two grubs. We'll be able to overpay thanks to our Nutcracker. I do believe. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I think we're going to be short. We, oh, we, get, we got the chickadee to get rid of, so. Ooh, it's, that means we're not going to be able to cycle on our robin, but it, it will be worth it. I mean, is it really worth five points when we can just run that? Who knows? But we will do it. Let's get ourselves the re-roll. One more grub, please. Thank you, sir. Might as well cash this guy, I believe. We got four. Yep. No need for you. I'll skip. <clears throat> Not my conventional means of playing, but a fun little challenge. Wonder what our final score is going to be here. Total birds, we are going to have 11. My opponent still currently only has seven. I think we're going to get this one. We're going to do nothing but lay play cards for the next three turns. Well, they are doing a double play, so maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I have confidence. I have one of my birds. Play this guy. Fortunately, we won't we'll miss an egg on the Grebe since we have to play the Says Phoebe first. But them the breaks. We've got only three plus one for bull nest. So this is going to be a, a seven point play. Four, three plus four. Sixteen point bonus card plus uh, four here. So twenty points in the bonus cards. No complaints at all. My opponent has no cards and no food, so they really just need to lay eggs, but they're not. They are going for more. It's a two-point engine. This would have been a four-point engine, so yeah. What can you do? This is going to be a five-point play running my engine, possibly a six point play. So the better move is to just run the engine or possibly one more point, but we're a man on a mission here. Well, that's nice. Can't do anything with you right now though. Let's get down our Phoebe. What a fun little game.
we are going to get the end of round goal too, thanks to this. Or at least we're going, nope, they, they would need to get two more and I just don't see them getting the food for two more cards. It's possible. They won't have the eggs for it though. They've only got three eggs. Yep, can't do a double play. So they would need to get two. Nope, it's impossible. It is impossible for them to get down two more cards. They need to lay eggs first and do a double play. They have no food generation in their grasslands, so we are set. What you got, buddy? Caning food. Give me that cherry. So let's see here. We're going to win this end of round goal. That's going to be 69 points. This guy is going to be 74 plus 20. 94 will be my final score, I believe. That's fun. That is fun. What you got for the final card? Are they even going to bother? They're chasing that end around goal, but now it's bit them in the posterior. Yeah. Last three turns, they scored exactly two points. Uh, not a good strategy. Let's go to the board. Oh, but I did get an extra two points there, so that's something. And now uh, I've maxed out their viticulturalist. Uh, so they did well on their bonus cards. So it's going to be a closer game than I expected, but we are still winning it for sure by a pretty decent margin. Here it is. <laughs> How beautiful. That was fun. Ninety-two. Was that the math I did? Close enough. I think I said ninety-four. Huh? All right. Well, there we go. Yep. GG to my opponent. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.